Hey everybody, it's like Jack 20 and I'm continuing the Let's Play of Banjo Tooie. This is the first part that I'm doing that I um, haven't prepared for Debot Flares, so now there's no more of that I'm like Jack 20 Debot Flares. Nope. We're just continuing. Now I'm gonna do another puzzle. So I got time to realize. Alright. like a cave so far. Oh, no, it goes there. Thank you. One here. And, uh, there. There we go. Yeah, you know, I think I finally decided on something. Um, since I've already pretty much uploaded all the other parts of Angel 2 before this, I've decided that, um, with two Let's Plays, it could get kind of hectic for me and for people trying to keep up with my videos. Uh, wherever I do put them, <laughs> but I'm gonna kind of alternate. Like one, I think I'm gonna try it out, see how it works and how people like it. I'm gonna do one day of Keen Parts, one day of Banjo Tui. Being that now I can make 20 minute long videos, it's, it'll still get quite a bit at the time. Hmm. Ye Lagoon. It's a piratey world, huh? Cool. Alright. See, that's how it's gonna be from now on. Or at least until I either find a better way to do it, or if anyone else doesn't like the system. Okay. Oh, we'll get those two jiggies in no time, but... Now it's time, after getting all those little things from uh, Spiral Mountain, it's time to now go into the third world. I'm gonna refill my uh, grenade eggs, because I have not done that from... Uh, Last part yet, there we go. Now we'll head in. Alright. Welcome to Witchy World. This is basically a theme park. Or fair, or whatever you want to call it. I'll try and pull a bear woman over there, but I'm not gonna work with her just yet. Ah, oh, shoot. Got to either got to land around that uh, square, otherwise it'll fall right down. There we go. See the little burger switch? What that does? Open the burger stand. I'll just pop it back on the grill, and uh, the plumbers will never know. <gasps> I've been rumbled. <sighs> I don't know if like they, if this little part is supposed to be kind of satirical against fair workers. It's pretty much all of them are trying to either kill you or they're just annoyed with uh, having or having to deal with you. I don't know. It's kind of funny. Anyway, grenade egg defense. Area 51, I guess this place is, but not gonna do much here quite yet. Just gonna jump up on the electric fence and jump and ow! Almost did not make that. How about I get a little closer with that? There we go. All right, get some couple notes up here. Now let's figure out. Now let's go over this big tent over here. But first, we'll see these slot machine things. Only way to, only way to get rid of them is with a gold grenade egg. I drop a ticket, and we can get the notes beneath them. Hmm. That big old ape looked kind of familiar, but anyway. Yeah, you're gonna need four of them, so basically just blow up all four of the uh, slot machines around this place. Notes there. A fry shop. Well, this is easy, just walk behind and there's a switch. Ah, sheesh. Someone found the switch. I hate customers. Always won things. Yeah, but at least we get paid. Kind of, I don't know. Anyway. Another one, just take care of you. One more and we should be done, but if you walk up on this side of the big tent, basically the opposite side of it, you'll find a, another, you'll find uh, the split up pads, another war pad, and a jam jar style. So let's see what he has for us today. <clears throat> Separate skills are what you lack, so let's get Kazooie out of your pack. Found your pads is what you do. Press A makes one. Boom. Two. Nah, that's part of the long one bit. But yep, this is it. 
there's one of the big old uh, things of the game, you know, split up, but I'm not going to do that actually in this part because there's not much use to at the moment. There will be definitely the last the next part, don't worry, don't you worry. Tickets, more notes, and that's all four, but um, there's some things I can get over here in the space world. First of all, war pad. That'll make getting around a little bit easier. And uh, I believe over here near the... There's another uh, polar bear kit over there, but here's another gem jar, style. gem jar style. This will be very important for the next part we're going into. Shooting eggs, defense bird and bear. Swan enough fire them in the air. Up gives you the aim and sight. Then press C to shoot for the kite. Ah, gotta get back into this rhythm of things now. Dismissed. Snapping of fire eggs from the air. Which will be extremely important in the next part. And, uh, some notes there. Speed this up because for a second I was a little bit lost. I was like, what am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, nope. Then I realized, oh, wait. There's a little pipe up on top of this thing we can use. Now we're climbing up. And up on top of this big old dome thing is a Jinjo. Alright. Now. I'm gonna head back to the big tent. So now it's finally time that I do that thing I was gonna do. Pick up the last couple notes. All right, let's go. Oh my gosh, it's Konga from the first bench. Yeah. I guess what do we need him for? Four tickets are required to enter Konga's big top. No tickets, no entry. We have four tickets. Got some over there, pal. There we go. I better let you in now, and you're just in time. The show's about to begin. Hope they got good acrobats and a human cannonball. You know, you would like, you would like watching someone fire out of a cannon. Where do you think her seat will be? I can't see any seats. Uh, perhaps we're supposed to sit on this uh, uh, big lump on the floor. I don't know, that lump looks suspicious. Anyway, we walk towards it, and... Uh oh It's that boss music playing again. Hmm. An inflatable dragon-like thing. Oh dear, not more intruders. I'll show you who's boss. See how big and strong Richard Pasch is. Ha! You're not all that big, really. That clungle freak near the star was probably bigger than you. Well, maybe, I guess, when you get the potion. How about this then? Aw. Mr. Patch. Even the game doesn't know what he is, it's just some inflatable thing, I guess. But oh boy, it's probably one of the biggest bosses we'll face so far. I suppose things are clever, do you? Well, one doesn't like to blow one's own trumpet. Aw, uh, sense of battle coming. If you insist. So, yep. First part's actually easy. You actually cannot, you actually don't take damage from touching, from touching, like, his body, like, head on. So, first thing you want to do is break out your grenade eggs. And you're gonna aim at these patches on his body. There we go. Oh, you found a weak spot. He looks like I might need some help here. Mm -hmm. Oh, shoot. That, yeah. If you stand on the ground for too long now, that punching bag, that punching glove's gonna jump out of the ground and hit you. So now, it's time to get moving. Get on the fly pads and get ready for a time for, for a very slightly epic fight. Aaron, here we go. Also, he'll, uh, as you were seeing and hearing, he'll fire and beach balls at ya. So I gotta be careful. Uh, come on. There we go. There. And this battle can actually take a while, which is why I'm gonna speed up parts of it. Because, um, it's not that he's hard, it's that it's annoying to get the eggs to hit him, because since he's constantly moving... There we go. It just takes a while to uh, hit him sometimes, that's all. And uh, kind of like with the, if you remember from Banjo-Kazooie with the Sir Slushes and their snowballs, just whenever you hear him fire a beach ball, just quickly jump up. Should be, uh, there we go. You kind of have to like aim a little bit ahead of him sometimes. Come on, there we go. So yeah, all you're doing is basically hitting all the patches on his body, and be sure to keep your distance from him. As you notice, he's getting slightly smaller every time as he deflates. So, 
try and go for the more difficult ones first, like the one on the back of his tail, because when he is really small and you can't aim from the ground with that punching glove thing, it's going to get really annoying trying to hit that really small patch. I guess I cut. I guess this episode could have been over about 20 minutes, like Kingdom Hearts. But at the time, I was still editing and stuff, and I was still preparing for if this was gonna be on the uh, other channel. But um, now I'll, I'll make the quick ones. Come on, gosh. took damage. One, four, only three more to go. Oh, I think I took out another two. That's cool. All that's left, I think, are the ones that are on his face. Maybe one on his back. I can't remember. Here, I'm gonna need more uh, aid. In there. Now this let's get a good lead. Oh yeah, no, there's one on the side there. Yeah, let's get one on his face first. Now, I'm gonna get a little ahead of him. We have to face pin off of this. This is in a couple days and other holidays as well. Be cool always. Now, come on. This is where it gets annoying because he's so small and there we go. Oh, Kamikaze died with a grenade egg there. One more. Now he's quite small and it's going to take a little bit to uh, hit him right. Come on, come on. Just let me get these little materials over there, man. Life. Here we are, let's take him on with the last shot. If we can get near him, that'd be great. Mm. Just time, it, it just, this is just a time consuming battle, that's it. There we go. He is defeated. Uh oh, looks like trouble. Sounds like it too. And he flies all over like a deflated balloon. And we get it, our first jiggy. Boy, what a, what a way to get our first jiggy in this part. Remember, let out. You know, at least Kong could have given us at least a little warning. Alright. Let's head on out. Come on, let's get to the exit. Seriously, it's just like sometimes in the, it's all over the place in this game where something looks really small on the outside, but all of a sudden it's gigantic on the inside. Anyway, just looking around. Oh wait, no, there is stuff we can now do in the Western world. Or at least in the little hub of it. Country place. Now, first of all, over here you'll find the big cactus strength. Or it's one of those strength games, yeah. You have to hit it three you have to hit it three different ways. First one. You can do a regular ground pound, then do the drill ground pound, and finally, shoot a grenade egg from the rear. Not the front, the rear. There you go. Yeah, you have to hit it three different ways. You can't hit it the same way twice. It has to be that way. And then we can climb up the pole. And there it is, you just being the cactus strength. And there, look at that. We could already do the... Uh, Puzzle, the next puzzle, Jiggy Wiggies, but I want to do everything I can in this world first. Have to do that out every time. There are two sets, and there's a set of notes behind each door. Now, get that. There we go. You can jump on the doors now. And jump over here. There we go. Grip grab over to the uh, Jinjo on this side. Jinjo! Now we do it on the other side. Come on, hook. All right, uh, shoot. That didn't work. Uh, let's try it again. Ah, oh, come on. Can you get it from that angle? Okay, now I'm gonna get it. Thank you. Like, okay. I'm gonna have to be uh, stopping this part soon. Come on. So these get to the part we need to get to. All right, now up here, you'll find a warp pad. 
and humble one sets. You know what? I'm Lucky Jack 20. Doing my let's play uh, Banjo Tooie. Gonna be uh, doing more Witchy World in the next part, I guess. So, see ya.